Hello together. In today's video, I show you how to process a JSON file in ABAP. JSON, JavaScript object notation, is often used to transfer data, especially in web applications. In my last video, where we called an external API from SAP, the data was also transferred with JSON. Since data can be nested as you like in a JSON file, I also use a deep structure in my example. This means that later in my internal table, a column itself consists of a structure. My JSON file is structured as follows. First, I have a unique ID. Then I have a city for the city name then the country and a field for the coordinates. The coordinates themselves also consists of two fields, latitude and longitude, in other words, a structure. That means we now have to declare two types that represent this JSON structure. First, I copy one set of data from my JSON file to my ABAP code so it's easier for me to declare my types. So uh, let's start with the declaration of my types. First, I declare the type for the coordinates. So I write here, begin of tie chords. Then latitude type. I use here a character 64. Next, the longitude type character 64. And end of type chords. Next. I declare the type of the whole dataset with ID, city, country, courts. So I write here types. Begin of Thai city. Next ID. Type int 4. Next, the city, type string, country, type string, and the chords of type tie chords. End of Thai city. And that means this type, Thai chords, we have declared here. Okay. Next, we need uh, an internal table. which we can store the JSON data. So I write here LT city type standard table of our declared type Thai city. It's this one with the fold key. And I need a variable for my JSON file. LV JSON type string. And next we have to concatenate this JSON file to a string in ABAP. So I copy this 
from another file and paste it here. And this is the concatenated string in ABAP. It's this data. Okay. And next we call the method to deserialize the JSON data. It's called UI2 CL JSON and the method is deserialize. And we have here some exporting parameter. First the JSON file. Right here LV JSON. Next the pretty name. And here we write UI2 CL JSON. And pretty mode. And our pretty mode today is camera case. Then changing one changing parameter. And this is our internal table LT city. Ready print and activate the code. There are no errors, looks good. And next, let's show some data. And for this, we use the class CLDemo output. I write data. First, I want to show my JSON. LV JSON. Next, I want to show uh, the, the name of the city of my first entry. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I can I can't display the whole internal table because I use a deep structure here and the class CL demo output can't display this kind of data type with my upper version. So I write here CL demo output, write data, LT city, and one for the first line, and city. And next I want to show the coordinates of this city. So I write here display LT city one index one for the first line and the coordinates. So let's activate the code and run the program. And we see here, first line is my concatenate JSON. And this is my first line. I want to show the name of the city of my first line. It's Vienna and latitude and longitude of Vienna. And we see here the structure. And let's have a look in the debugger so that we we can see that the whole data is stored in an internal table. We see here the two entries. Let's double click. And these are my two entries. We can compare these entries to my to the uh, JSON file. So we see here I the, the ID 100 and 200, then the two cities, countries, 
and the coordinates. So we have the data of our JSON structured in ABAP. Yes, that was it already. If you liked my video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you like more videos, you can also subscribe to my channel. Of course, I would be even happier about that. Leave me a few comments too, I always enjoy reading them. I hope to see you again in one of my next videos. Thank you and see you soon.